In the world, there are some people who have a hate relationship with their words. Of these people, there is a faction that suffer from hippopotamonstrosequipediliophobia. Martin looks like an ordinary person, but in reality he is extraordinary, meaning too ordinary. He is a hippopotamons. Mm, okay, first of all, he's not a hippopotamus. He just has fear of long words. Common reasoning would suggest that to be a hippopotamonstro sesquipedaliophobic means to be fearful of a monstrous hippopotamus. However, it means completely the opposite, to be fearful of long words. Words like honorific abilitudinotibus, floxina holne filipification, numino ultramicroscopic silico volcano coniosis, or hippopotamonstro sesquipedaliophobia only a few examples that create anxiety in hippopotamonstros sesquipedaliophobics. If we break the word and analyze their various meanings, we conclude that it defines any person who is afraid of anything that looks like a monster, measures more than a foot and a half in length, and resembles a hippopotamus. There are people with phobias that don't have names. The phobias, not the people. Because the people do have names. For example, John is afraid of cotton balls. I can't stand the crackling noise when you pull them apart. I feel chills in my skull. Let's illustrate. But nothing compares to the people who suffer from hippopotamonstrous phobia, or however you say it. In the year 1969, one such case was documented. Eyewitnesses recall a lonely Englishman in the streets of London who displayed symptoms of this terrible phobia. Will Wither spent three entire days in a wound-up position whispering repeatedly to himself, Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. This hippopopophobic experienced intense orgasms every three hours or so during this prolonged state of neglect from other people. It's true, look it up on Wikipedia! Another little-known example surfaced in rumors from the deep jungles of Santa Marta, Colombia. Simon José Antonio de la Santísima Trinidad Bolívar y Palacios was the grand liberator of Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, and Panama, and he too was a hippopotamonstro califidalistic expialidocious phobic. Bolívar did not die from the pulmonary phthisis, but from anxiety when trying to say his name before his... Willer. The person who writes your will. Yes. Last, we have a conversation between a telemarketer and one of those that have the fear of hippopotamus. This conversation is a property of the United States acquired under the Homeland Security Act of 2002 wiretapping service. A disclosure of the terms of use. Divulging this information is a federal crime and may result up to 30 years in prison. No batteries included. Good evening. How are you, Mr. Almira? Very well. Who am I speaking with? I'm calling from Sensual Beauty. Can I interest you in our special Sensual Beauty lip gloss? Uh, no thank you. I'm not interested. Or perhaps may you be interested in Plus Ultra Lipstick for Men? I said I'm not interested. Thank you. Remember that now you have to download your receipt at this... Okay, goodbye. Mr. Elmira, you have to retrieve your receipt online or you won't get your Plus Ultra Lipstick. The website is www beautyshop.com slash shop online slash plus ultra slash receipt dot html. You got it? Can you repeat it for me? Uh, beauty shoe, uh, no, uh, beauty shoe, no, 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 thanks, I don't want to. Why not? It's that I'm a hippo pop um, monstro sesky, uh, no.